Hello again, Michael Freeberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Today is a bit of an adventure shave for me. I'm going to be doing my first shave with a Chevette. This was kindly passed on to me for a trial run by Matt Glass. Uh, let me go ahead and get lathered up and I'll talk a bit about the razor, the blades that it uses, and I'll uh, take it from there. So just tell me get lathered up. So this, this folding style Chevette uses the Feather Pro blades or Kai mild or like the same blades that you might find in the three-piece mongoose So the blades if you're unfamiliar with what they look like Look like this they're small They have three little grooves in them to allow them to fit These do fit obviously in the three-piece mongoose. This is the mongoose head on a uh, On a razor rock mission handle Going to get lathered up. Yeah, I have never shaved with a shade out before. I've never shaved with a straight. The advice I've been given is go slow, no sudden moves, keep your skin tight. I'm likely going to go for a with the grain pass and maybe a second cleanup pass after that. Once we get my lather good and wet, just adding a bit of water to the brush. Today's soap is the remaining, maybe the last third of this tub of the Friedberg. Brush is the custom bore brush from Rod Neep. All right, a little more water, and then let's go ahead and start shaving. I will say my experiences with the Monkers razor have certainly been very good in most regards. The razor is easy to use, very easy to assemble, obviously it's a simple three-piece, you can switch out the handle. I wanted a slightly lighter handle with a bit more knurling um, as a trial run as well than using the Dove Slim on it. I think the thinner handle actually is in the end probably a better fit for me. Um, but I will say for the blades, which I think I got the Feather Professional, I will say that they, they certainly work very well, but they're also, I think, a little harsh in the end. So, all right, well, here we have it. So what you do to insert the blade is you can simply, I don't know if you can see it, you can pinch the top halves together that basically forms a gap and you simply slide the blade in. When you release it, click, it holds it into place. So like I said, I've been told one with the grain pass to start off with, hold your skin tight and go slow and definitely try to use your non-dominant hand on that side. So. I'm gonna give it a whirl, we'll see how it goes. You, like me, are here for the trial run. So, wish me all the best, people. Now, I can definitely understand that this, the handle, seems like it's gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna turn just a little bit. Pulling my skin tight. So part of this is obviously the fact that, hey, when you start getting a bit older, well, pulling your skin tight seems like a great idea. Then you realize just how much your skin is moving even though you're pulling it tight. Yeah, I'm not gonna shave where there is no ladder. That is gonna be recipe for disaster. Short, easy strokes. Definitely an instance where it seems like caution is the way to go. What I found with the mongoose is certainly that um, small weepers, if you're not careful,
other problem for me is, of course, when I tilt my head back like that, because I'm not wearing my glasses, it's actually very hard to see what I'm doing. This is one of the spots where when I use the mongoose, I almost always nick myself. There's something about the shape of the skin and the shape of the head just makes it very easy. with this definitely is blade is a little it's still harsh for me but i think something like the kai i think there's a kai mild that might be a better option i want this ladder a little wetter let's do that all right switch hands now this is where i expect it's going to get a little tougher I normally never shave with this hand, so. Well, so far so good. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that definitely is, that takes some getting used to. Yeah, that's actually going to be very hard to do. It's also just being very cautious about doing this. All right. I think that is pass number one done well there's definitely some spots that are not so hot but first try yeah i would say a milder blade would be better it still feels that blade feels like it's still very sharp but also ready to catch in your skin at a moment's notice with the mongoose what i do is i uh when i stay with it I shave slowly and I shave in a very deliberate way. I really take my time and take care. Um, it's not a razor that I feel like you can sort of rush with. All right, I'm gonna make another pass. See what we get. This will be another mostly with the grain. All 
I can definitely see the appeal. I mean, it is a very, very sharp blade, easily replaced. Gives you this, you know, sort of the sense of at least partially of shaving with the with the straight. Since you do have to switch hands, for example, you've got to hold it differently than obviously you would with the double edge. Right, I want that to be a little bit wetter and slicker. I can definitely see that. Yeah, you want this to be as slippery as possible. All right. I'm going to dry off my hands because that is a little too wet to hold that razor. In fact, I'm going to dry off that handle just a little bit. All right. Let's give this another go. Same thing, another gentle with the grain. That would have turned in a little bit. Two days growth may have been not the smartest idea. Definitely no shaving where there is no lather. See right there, I feel like that is really not gliding over the skin like it should. Now that's definitely my experience with these blades in general is that they feel like um, they just would take a hair's breadth. And I always get a little bit of irritation. which I have a feeling is going to be the case. The bottom of my neck as well. Yeah, one tiny, yeah, a little bit. And that's what happens when I use the mongoose as well. Same thing. Just a very small. Yeah, that's going to take some practice. I think that's the end of the razor when I was shaving over here, just the very tip of it nicked me a little bit. All right, let's switch into the other side of the mustache again, under my chin. Yeah, just nick myself right there in the lip. Yeah. 
<laughs> Last drug. Should have stopped right there. All right, let me go ahead and rinse off. Let's do a bit of alum. <laughs> right there, right in the lip. That last stroke should have stopped. Rinse off a little bit. Yep, no sting. So that is a pretty close, no irritation shade, except for down here in the neck, which with those blades is almost a given for me, right? Well, my windpipe here, very hard to do. Alright, that's a bit of alum. Just some styptic on there just in case. Hardly any stinging, that's a very, very shallow cut, but it's right under my lip, so I imagine the be nice. Actually, overall, that was pretty good shape. Using your knot, yeah, you can see there's a spots that have missed down here, so I'm going to leave those for this time. Alright. Rinse off the alum. Give that another touch of the styptic because I just rinsed it off. Yeah, that's an interesting say. That's hard. Doing it with your non-dominant hand, obviously, is really tricky. And then the degree to which that blade, I feel like, sort of hitches on the skin. Yeah, that makes it a little bit harder. I'm actually really no different in some ways than my experience down here with the mongoose. Just the way that it feels. Definitely be interested in trying a, uh, one of the more mild blades. Apparently, this is one of the sort of the harsher, more aggressive blades. All right, well, let me rinse off my face. Put on a little bit of aftershave and we will call it quits. Try some of this to cap off this first time experience. No burn, no irritation. Overall, that is obviously the parts where it didn't go really across or against the grain. But for a two pass with the grain shave, yeah, I'm uh, I'm very happy with that. I'm pretty pretty impressed. That was easy to use. Uh, the weight of that razor is obviously it's it's very light. Uh, it's a it is a plastic handle, uh, but it just feels really solid. This piece is heavy, solid, well-made, easy to hold, even when your hands are wet. I mean, obviously I'd recommend keeping your hands good and dry during this, but um, it doesn't feel slippery or like you're easily gonna drop it. Um, yeah, very well-made and easy to take the blade out and clean it too. This mechanism allows you simply to squeeze it, slide this piece off and uh, take the blade out for cleaning and for replacing. Well, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed that. That was my first time shaving with the Feather Artist Club. I was told it was going to bite me and it did just a little bit right there in the lip. Should have stopped, knew it should have stopped. And as always, that's when the things go wrong. You take one extra stroke, boom, that was a mistake. Otherwise, that was a really fun shave actually. Friedberg soap by Boar Brush from Rod Neep, Friedberg aftershave, and again, the feather shave. Thank you so much, Matt Glass, really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be passing this on back to you again. Thanks so much. Bye-bye everybody.